Now, going over to the political part podcast, you have Kamala saying she wants to regulate speech and remove social media profiles that she doesn't like. Now, I'm not sure what reason this is. Perhaps nine billion? No. Twelve billion nine hundred fifty-eight million seven hundred thirty-five thousand four hundred twenty-one to not vote for her, because again, anyone who doesn't believe in the First Amendment is no friend to Americans or freedom. And again, I. I'm glad she's saying this out loud. So I hope ev I hope every single registered voter hears this message and hears her her little this little uh, compilation, because again, free speech is paramount to a society. I mean, I always tell people if you if you're signing someone who's just mentally you know maybe emotionally mentally stunted or they just not, you know and they just need to I don't know grow a little bit, they can't have a coherent conversation with someone of an opposing viewpoint. They just hundred percent emotion zero logic. They're just mentally a child, even if they are, you know, whatever their age says on their driver's license. But without too much further ado, let's hear what uh, she has to say about this. It comes to us thanks to End Wokeness and the good old X Twitter. He says, quote, President Kamala Harris would regulate speech, censor free, uh, social media, and remove accounts and content she doesn't like. Listen, if you don't believe me. And a little long, it's about two minutes, but it's, I think, again, this is paramount. So I think it's worth uh, noting. All of these social media. So this is a couple quick compilations. It's like it's from the 2020 race. All of these social media companies and these online. This was when she's a Democrat candidate. Remember, she didn't even win California. All of these social media companies and these online platforms, which are so powerful in their ability to impact perception about an issue and to influence behaviors. Let's be clear about that. There have to be standards. And he and his account should be taken down. We saw in El Paso that that shooter in his manifesto was informed by how Donald Trump uses that platform. And this is a matter of corporate responsibility. Twitter should be held accountable and shut down that site. It is a matter of safety and corporate accountability. Thank you. Senator Warren, you can respond. So, look. I don't just want to push Donald Trump off Twitter. I want to push him out of the White House. That's our job. So join but me, the way you know, join but me the, in saying that his Twitter account figure, should be shut down. No, let's figure out. No. Well, she's left of Elizabeth Warren. A friendly reminder how much of a leftist Kamala Harris is. And again, Liz, Elizabeth Warren is she's by no means conservative, but even she realizes you shouldn't just mute someone. You shouldn't just take them out of the whole cultural lexicon. You shouldn't just be able to remove all their ideals from society. Why it is that we he has he has lost his privileges and it should be taken down and and the bottom line is that you can't say that you have one rule for Facebook and you have a different rule for Twitter, the same rule has to apply, which is well they're separate businesses so yeah they have their own terms and conditions. That there has to be a a, a, a responsibility again when it comes to the legal precedent of the government regulating free speech, and trying to regulate speech the only thing you basically can't do is if you give an articulate threat so if you say and again I'm no legal scholar by any means though I do own a suit. But basically, if you say, I'm going to hurt this person at this time, you know, specifically, if it's a specific threat, that's not protected. But everything, anything else, yeah, it can be viscerally disgusting. It can be hate speech, it can be whatever you want. It, but again, it's protected. ...that is placed on these social media sites to understand their power. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And that has to stop. Donald Trump has 65 million followers on Twitter. And we have to take seriously the, 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 the weaponization of, of this platform by the president and the need, therefore, of a private corporation to be held accountable to say he has abused the terms and it could result literally in the in the in, in, in the, a threat to safety of, of human beings who are participating with the process of justice there is not a part of you civically constitutionally that is concerned about the precedent of a private company taking the platform away from the president of the united states or some other elected official it, free speech does not condone or or, or protect threats to the safety of other human beings and so that is which he's never done what we are talking about like let's be really clear about what we're talking about i think we need to push back on this there there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or or hate speech and especially around our democracy yeah i hope it goes even more viral because again there absolutely is it's called the first amendment i know shoot this applies to republicans too and a lot of people in dc don't read anything by the founding fathers or even the bill of rights they should it's almost I was about to say it's one of the most, yeah, it's the most important document ever written by, by mankind. 
I mean, and yet they go, oh yeah, there's no guarantee of hate speech. There absolutely is. It's disgusting, but again, unpopular speech is the one that needs to be protected because, again, just saying the sky is blue isn't controversial. No, it, it doesn't need to be protected. So, interestingly enough, a great litmus test with your friends, I call it the Alex Jones litmus test, one of my favorite ones. Just ask him, do you think Alex Jones deserves free speech? Does he deserve to have a platform? I mean, I'll tell you everything you need to know about that person. Again, Alex Jones says some, says some crazy stuff. But at the end of the day, he's an American citizen. He's human. He deserves the right to free speech. That's my three cents. So again, like, if you ever want to, like, you know, definitely show this to all your friends. Some, hey, I mean, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls doesn't seem like they're uh, too good about the First Amendment. They want to regulate everything. Just to uh, show them this more and more. And then ask them, like, do you think everyone deserves free speech? Now, this went pretty well. I got 400,000 views, about 5.1 thousand likes. One well, first comment comes from End Wokeness, who says, quote, quote, or he gets quote within a quote. So he quotes uh, Kamala saying, they are so powerful in their ability to influence perception of behavior. Unquote. Then Ed Wokeness says, this is how communist dictators talk, game 1.2 thousand likes. America Papa Bear says she's full of Marxist who wants this, game 21 likes. Unfortunately, a lot of people on the left, a lot of leftists. Guthrie Eagleman says, quote, Kamala Harris hates the First and Second Amendments, game 228 likes. Fact check, true, she wants to confiscate guns that are very popular. So I should clarify, of course, it's always confiscating them from law-abiding citizens, not the illegal Venezuelans who break in here, or the U.S. government. And if you ever read history, history book, if you're public school taught, unfortunately, you might not have had that opportunity. But yeah, every time the governments take guns throughout the history, the worst things ever always, always happen. You can be told the worst things in history always because it's always the results of governments. Oshman simply says, Kami Kamala getting 212 likes. By Hodel says, Kamala is a fascist POS. She literally campaigned to get the same presidency banned from social media. If she did to him, what chance do we have? Bye bye First Amendment if she wins. Okay, 108 likes, which, again, if I were Trump, I would say this every single day because it's one of the most well thought out, articulate things Trump has ever spoken when it comes to like a campaign strategy. He says, well, if I, I, I will dare attempt the, uh, his impression. It, it'll be terrible. We've been warned, but remember, they're not after me, they're after you. I'm just in the way. And perhaps the worst Trump impression you've heard all year, but perhaps it's so bad you at least made you smile. Because again, that's one of the most true things he's ever said. They will, they will come for you. They will come for you. Well, you've seen it already with them banning people on social media, especially before Elon took over. You look at the rates and who they went after. And now we find, thanks to Mark Zuckerberg and media on that Facebook platform, he confirmed that the government bullied them to censor Americans, which is illegal. And yeah, I'm sure no one in the government will be held accountable for that. Now you have Junita Broderick saying, quote, without a doubt, she wants to shut down X, getting 391 likes. So not too many contrarian statements here. You have a picture compilation by Trump.ai. It's the hope and change um, type of style picture, but it has Kamala on it. It says, inflation, invasion, incompetence, corruption, censorship, war. I got 24 likes. Here. Uh, yeah, not, many, not too many contrarian statements. But yeah, quite horrifying that they want to destroy the First Amendment. And, yeah, I mean, thank God the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court would rule in favor of the First Amendment, but whether they stack the Supreme Court or get rid of it somehow, it is quite concerning. And again, in terms of, shoot, the upcoming election, I mean, just, I think, I don't think it should be a bipartisan thing. I think every American deserves free speech, even if I don't agree with what they have to, what they, what they have to say. And just ask every one of your friends, especially if they're thinking of voting for trial, just be like, I mean, aren't you concerned she might censor you someday? And historically speaking, that's always happened. But let me know in the comments. Do you think this will move the political needle, needle one way or the other? As always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.